came back from the year. Oh, oh really? No. Do it. No. Do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wondering where we're going with this. How do other musicians even talk to you? Why are we in black? What kind of show is this? It's totally inspiring. I got hotel keys in every pocket. This was a Beachcombers episode. You ripped this off. <laughs> you are watching Stripped Down. You are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. Back that up. The award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. Big treat tonight. All the way from Regina, Saskatchewan, our queen city. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Stripped Down, it's Dan Design.
the plot laid and the deed done. You're watching Strip Down with Dan Bazine. I have to yeah, put your guitar away. Let's sit down on the couch. Fine. We use this so little. It's unfortunate. All the way from Regina, Saskatchewan. Have a seat, man. Thank you. First things first, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for it's having a, me, man. It's always, a, it's always a risk in winter when you're driving up from Regina. It's and true. The, the weather, the roads today, it was okay? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was kind of icy, but the day was clear. And, yeah. I was a little worried all weekend, to be honest. I thought, oh, yeah. oh I'm going to get to work <laughs> on Monday, and there's going to be an email of, yeah, like, yeah. man, I can't make it. But that's pretty hardcore. You came all the way out here. Yeah, yeah. What do you know sure. about Strip Down? Uh, I found you guys on Facebook, actually. Yeah. Uh, I caught a few things on Access. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, big shout out to the uh, good people of Access Communication who air this each and every week on Regina, so you'll get to go back home and watch it. Exactly, yeah. Nice. Sure. All right, stripped down. Here we are. 2011, how's it treating you? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Just recently released your first full length? Yeah. It's uh, a good place to start. Let's get to know oh yeah. Dan. First full length <laughs> album. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's called No Depression. I uh, released it back in 2009. Okay. And, uh, uh, yeah, it it's done pretty well for, for it. But, yeah, uh, positive feedback? Yeah, oh, yeah. What are uh, people saying about no depression? Uh, the people who have listened to it have given me nothing but positive feedback. It's uh, It's been really encouraging, actually. So, uh, yeah. I've never heard your material. We're only one song in. Right. Is, is no depressing, like, funny play on words? Like, you weren't really dancing and jumping up and down. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I was doing some writing, so I didn't quite listen to the lyrics right, as yeah, closely yeah. as I could have, yeah. but uh, is no depression close? Uh, it What's was, the theme? it's, um, it, it, the, the songs are basically like a collection of like four years worth of writing, and when I mm -hmm. uh, decided to make the album, I found that there was uh, a lot of like personal stuff in there. Um, so the, the, Th there's a song called No Depression on there. It kind of... Uh, encompassed. Yeah, encompassed what the album was about. So, yeah. Yeah, it says, Years worth of writing, the album follows a steady evolution of mental destruction and repair. Yeah. Is that, is that, a good, is that too heavy for right off the top? Or <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Nope? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Basically, I was going through a rough time for a long time and uh, just wrote songs to... Sadly, that is when you do your best writing, though, isn't it? It's true. You're it's true. A rough time. Yeah. So. So you don't want to exact. Uh, don't want to talk any more about that. We'll just leave it at that. It was a rough time. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, looking back now, probably worth it. Got a, oh, oh yeah, got a absolutely. Great album out of it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it, really, the the songs like kind of helped me get out of that mm -hmm. whole thing. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a nostalgic thing for me now. Looking back on it, so. So is that what we're gonna hear tonight? Primarily stuff from the album. Actually, you've uh, got this crazy like band to band to band <laughs> thing going on. There's like three pages. Yeah, on Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I, I'm currently in the middle of uh, recording and mixing an EP okay. uh, that I hope to release in um, 2000 or er, in the spring of uh, 2011. As well as I'm writing uh, uh, material for uh, second full length. Nice. So it, it'll be kind of like all together if that's nice. So, so things kind of taken off since 2009, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm i in a band called The Government. We mm -hmm. started, uh, we kind of started to promote No Depression, but it's... Kind of your solo thing. Yeah, it's kind of... Uh, Are you lead uh, lead singer of? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, but The Government's kind of taken off into its own things so not a bad place to be yeah exactly two sure. successful projects yeah i, I liked your quote because yeah before i read your bio and everything your quote on uh, myspace was listen to the government and yeah, i was like well, yeah. that's not really rock and roll <laughs> that's but then i got it yeah, yeah you know yeah, that's yeah. funny yeah. it sucked me in and then i read and i yeah, got it exactly, good stuff yeah, alternative sure. rock with experimental learnings that's what you mm -hmm. classified your sound yeah pretty fair yeah i'd say so it's yeah. uh, it's nothing too out there but uh i think there's you know i try and make things a little more interesting than the normal normal uh, mainstream stuff that goes on so yeah fair enough yeah. we got lots more to talk about but uh, before we get to our first commercial break you want to uh, queue up another song but first of all what was the first song what did we kick the night off uh, that's called the plot laid and the deed done okay yeah does that have a backstory as well 
Uh, kind of. It, it was, uh, I woke up at like 3 in the morning and uh, hammered it out. Hammered it out nice. pretty much, yeah. So, yeah, that was, uh, that, that's about it for is that. Is that an uncommon writing process or is that usually how it happens? You know, uh, it's people who just kind of carry the dictaphone around or the pen and paper and. Right, yeah. Uh, it's, it's varied. Every, every song happens differently. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That's one of the things I've learned doing the show. I mm -hmm. always imagine, you know, writers would be like, all right, it's three o'clock. I'm going to yeah. go sit down at the uh, coffee shop and write some songs yeah, and yeah. go do something else at five, but no. Yeah. Well, it doesn't so really happen like that. Sometimes if I'm in a rut, I'll like, kind of force myself to do that, but yeah, otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly just flows. And, yeah. All right, well, let's get to uh, more music. Where are we going with song number two? Uh, it's called Only I. It's also off of the EP that uh, will be coming out. So. All right, yeah. take it away. All right. Dan Bizine. I saw you and think of getting shot As the columns crumble down And the sanctum's left to rot I baked him out of the corner of my mouth I ate with him and drank with him and natural as tears Will my confidence in you become as common as my fears Don't mind me when I curse you from the corner of my mouth
You're watching Stripped Down with Regina's own Dan Bazine. We have to gear up for our very first commercial break, but stick around. we got lots more Stripped Down, lots more of this guy coming up right after this. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. Six seventeen Eighth Street East Saskatoon on the web at mothersmusic.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two oh four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. down the toilet it travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant there it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers the problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup cleaning supplies and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up they are dumped untreated into our waterways which other people depend on for their drinking water some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? And we're back. You're watching Strip Down with Dan Bazine here in the Shaw TV studio. Dan, driving all the way up from Regina, mm -hmm. risking life and limb on the icy highways of Saskatchewan just to be on Strip Down. 100 thank yous for that. Hey, thank you. We don't get nearly enough artists from Regina. That's something we really need in our fourth season. Like, mm -hmm. we've had maybe 10 oh, yeah. out of yeah. 105 yeah. episodes. Yeah. So we need more. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. the survival of Strip Down depends on Regina at this point. <laughs> I don't know how many more seasons we can do with primarily Saskatoon yeah, musicians. Yeah. So yeah. what's the scene like out there? Oh, Would there be people jumping up and down, um, wanting to come on the show, do you think? I, yeah, it, uh, the scene's fantastic over yeah? there, man. Um, like, I, I originally came from Red Deer. And yep. The scene is just like... Yeah, it sucks pretty much. Uh, in Red Deer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's so much, like, diversity in the bands and stuff. Uh, in Regina? In Regina, and, yeah, lots of camaraderie between different, like, mm -hmm. genres of bands and artists and stuff like that, so. So what do we have to do to get down there and get the uh, stripped-down name, the brand out there in Regina, and get people to make the drive up like yourself? Oh, well, I'll, I'll do my best to do my part for you guys. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. Like, any anytime there's a Regina musician or a band that wants to come on, it kind of jumps the line. Usually there's a few-month wait, right, but, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, when, when we have a last-minute cancellation or an opening, mm -hmm. it's like, I go to the Regina folks first because, yeah, again, we need to... We need to start branching out a little more yeah. and getting, getting our name out there. For sure. But yeah, all things good there. You're playing lots of gigs. It's yeah. a thriving musical community. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, maybe not as many venues to play as, uh, as we'd like, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's still, yeah, there's still lots of really great places and great people that come out to shows. And yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I want to talk about the history, the musical upbringing and everything, but it's, mm. it's going to be quite the conversation. So why don't okay. we... Uh, break into another song first then we'll sure. then we'll go back and revisit the red deer days all, all right. right okay song number three yeah uh it's called flood uh, it's off of no depression okay uh, and, uh, yeah all right take it away dan cool Thank you. 
Spending 60 minutes with Regina's own Dan Bazin. All right, have a seat, buddy. Let's get into the whole origin thing here. All right. Born and raised in Red Deer, Alberta. Mm -hmm. How was that for you? That uh, was all right. Yeah, you were telling me before, not a big musical community in Red Deer. No, but not really. It's kind of a fun place. It's fun to drive through. <laughs> That's about it, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, uh, yeah I've, every single artist I have on here, they always started play music in church. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anybody's done some like long-term study on how like all these churches are closing up because of low membership, if that's actually going to affect future generations of musicians. It's probably, quite, it's probably will. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, Cause you know, no one's forcing their kids to go anymore and they're not getting that whole musical, uh, you know, installment to the yeah. young age. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's where you got your, got your start. Church, mm -hmm. age six. Yeah. So what was, what were you doing there? Were you killing it on guitar? Uh, actually, I, I just, uh, First thing I did was I sang uh, just a one song. Yeah. 
for a service and got a taste and that was it yeah that, that, that I, was, I was hooked yeah for sure from there it was drums yeah i started playing drums in church and did that for good 11 12 years something like that yeah. uh, went on to guitar bass piano and yeah many many bands you had a mm -hmm. I uh, read somewhere you had a high school band that stayed together for like a full four years or yeah. more. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Uh, and that was back in Red Deer, though? Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, the band was called Inscribed, and uh, uh, it was so much fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent learning experience for like how mm -hmm. to be in a band and how to write music with people and uh so behind the music, it all it all fell apart at the end. You graduated and went your own separate ways, or what? Yeah, well, we were, we were together. Or for was like there all uh, sorts of high school drama before that? Oh no, 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 uh, no we're we're all well, that's cool, still good friends. But uh, yeah, we uh, uh, people went off to school, and mm -hmm. we, yeah, it's just things didn't uh, end up working out together. But uh, yeah, what brought you to Regina? Um, I had a friend that I met in college. She uh, basically wanted to uh, go to university here, N needed a roommate to help her along, and I really wanted to get out of Red Deer, so it uh, kind of went that way. So Okay. Yeah. So that was never really the goal, just kind of went along with it, ended oh. up, the goal was just to get out of Red Deer? Yeah, honestly, oh. <laughs> honestly, it's been my, it's been my uh, goal to head over to Montreal, but uh, I kind of got uh, got stuck here in Regina, and I, I love it here. Yeah. It's fantastic. Is that still the goal, to get out there? Um, tentatively, yeah. Tentatively? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty settled in Regina right now, so okay. it's, uh, it's good. How many years ago was that when you moved to Regina? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Wow, yeah. you've done a lot in two and a half years then. I, I do my best. <laughs> Take me back two and a half years in Regina. What have you, you hit the ground running. You're showing up, you're a roommate, you got a guitar, and that's pretty much it. Just start building the foundation. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, by then, uh, I was al already mixing No Depression. Um, uh, I was al already starting to write for the EP, and that, then I just started playing acoustic shows around town. Um, and kind of got my name out there, met, uh, met the guys in the government, and yeah. What do we need to know about the government? Ooh. Uh, it's compare, it, compare it to your solo stuff we're hearing tonight. Uh, it's, <laughs> uh, it's quite a bit different. It's, uh, okay. it's heavier, uh, quite progressive. Um, uh, yeah. But it's interesting because we started off promoting no depression. Okay. And uh, so I think it, it's... Uh, our music is kind of informed by that whole sound, but we're trying to have our own thing going. So. Fair enough. But uh, well, that's got to be difficult. So you're the lead singer of that, and you got your solo project as well. Yeah. yeah. Is that was well, one kind of like taking over the other? Or are you trying to keep both going as hard as you can? Or? Uh, uh, there was a point uh, after we started writing uh, our own material for the government where I wasn't sure if I should keep doing solo mm -hmm. stuff. Or if I should just focus on that, and I, I don't know. I just need to get stuff out, so mm -hmm. I decided to keep on pursuing both at the same time. And yeah. in a perfect world, if you could uh, not have to do anything but play music, would it be solo or with the band? You're gonna say band, aren't you? Just because. Yeah, yeah. It's cause it's, it's cause quite that, a bit more fun. That's the right thing to yeah, say. Yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's quite a bit more fun to yeah. uh, to play with people and have that energy going whereas you know th this is a bit more of an intimate type thing so mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah but yeah it's the government's so much fun to play in it's nice yeah all right sure. do you need to do some more tuning before we get to the next uh, song uh, or because we can talk while you tune if you want to start gearing up for the, the fourth <laughs> song sure sure all right what are we going to hear next uh it's called slightly forced love song it's also on no depression Okay. Yeah. Do you need to do you need to tune or anything? I guess uh, we, can, we can keep the conversation going while you do it. Uh, honestly, I think it's I think it's cool. You're yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Dan Bazine. Let's out 
things that shouldn't be. The God's honest depressed. We're already dead and alive without loving it. It's so lovely here that I never want to come down. We're about to strip down. We're spending 60 minutes with Regina's own Dan Bazine. We have to gear up for our second commercial break, but we, uh, we got the second half of the show with Regina's own Dan Bazine coming up right after this. into him face to face, we also wouldn't want to see anything threaten his existence. Hard to believe an animal this big needs our help. But even though the polar bears live far away in the remote Arctic, we are having a negative impact on their lives. Our pollutants travel the oceans and atmosphere and enter their food chain. Plus climate change is causing the ice they live on to melt earlier each spring. This makes it more difficult for the bears to catch their prey. If you're wondering how you can help, Simple things like riding your bike, walking, or taking the bus instead of driving will do a lot for our environment and the polar bears. But that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about polar bears and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. down the toilet. It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be 
sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan Bazine. <laughs> Test the prosecution, but we hear no sounds. They pour ashes on their heads and they beat on their breath, hoping for someone who perceives the
you want to strip down with Dan Bazan. You can just sit down with your guitar. We're not going to sure. talk for very long before the next song because I forgot I had a little piece of tape we need to play. We had a uh, another strip down first last week, but we'll talk about that after after the next song. Um, so what's next for you, buddy? Heading back to Regina, and then mm -hmm. what, uh, just keep going with the two projects? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, big things on the horizon. You said you're working on another EP, was it? Yeah, uh, EP, five songs. Uh, and that's a solo one? Yeah, there'll be okay. a solo one, as well as a, I'm in the midst of writing for a second full-length solo album. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the government is also working on writing new material, and... Uh, mm -hmm. Recording as Lyrically, well. Lyrically, is that all in your head? Like the government stuff as well? Or? Yeah, it's uh, and it's tough because I um, probably work as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the uh, I, I think the most difficult thing is that uh, no depression. What was so personal, uh, mm -hmm. and I don't really want to put that with three other guys, right? So it's uh, it's been an interesting thing trying to write for. Uh, uh, external uh, lyrics. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, as opposed to internal. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. So any big shows on the horizon? Just still booking and looking for looking for places. Do you ever come through these parts? You ever come uh, to Saskatoon to we, play? We we haven't, and I, I haven't either. Uh, but uh, we've talked about it lots. So nice. uh, well, this will be hopefully the first step. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Any timelines or anything for the uh, the new projects? Or just when it happens, it happens. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Uh, like my aim for the EP is to release it in uh, uh, in the spring, and then hopefully the full length at the end of the year. So. All right. Yeah. Uh, for all information on you, where do people go? Facebook, I'm guessing. Do you have you have you pulled the plug on the MySpace yet? No, it's I still I, hanging on I, there. I really should. It's an awful site, but. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, been taking a beating the last it, six months. It, let me tell you. Oh I yeah. So many artists that are just jumping off MySpace. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. But uh, I, I still have my MySpace, so you can. But really, just go to Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, all that's the right. information on there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Songs. Uh, yeah, songs, yep. uh, got a couple demos from the EP going up there, so, uh, yeah. Nice. Well, why don't we do uh, another song, and then we'll recap how last week ended. So, uh, what's up next? Uh, it'll be the uh, first song from the EP. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Cool. Take it away. All right. Dan Design. <laughs> Decided it didn't mean a thing. No godless, headless night is gonna bring him down with it. The plumber and the cable guy still late for a dialogue, only to pause when they discovered me alone. Face down, eyes wide. Time becomes pocket change. And what am I but a link in the his mouth and all he says is fluff keeps his lover in the cupboard just collecting dust will he let her out once and those words he used to love her for felt like acupuncture needles to the heart and he was floored 
But the truth is funny cause it sets you free But never lets you off the hook Then I know you've tried your alibi But you just come off as a crook don't say the love is blindness Cause you know neither of the two Bliss is ignorance is bitchin' honey So you You're watching Strip Down with Regina's own Dan Bazine. And before we get to our last commercial break, I promised you a Tate segment. And this is kind of cool. For those of you who were watching last week, we had a huge first episode of 2011. He's not a regular on the show by any means, but uh, if you watch the rest of the Shaw TV programming, Mr. Matthew Prefontaine you'll recognize from uh, doing all the sports stuff. He's our, like, only sports reporter. So... We came up with this, well, he came up with the concept, and I, we all helped execute it here on Strip Down. But basically, we had an interactive marriage proposal. We had a band, Maddie and his fiance, or his girlfriend at the time, liked, and we incorporated kind of a marriage proposal from Matthew to her while they were watching it at home. It was really cool. Anyways, uh, a few days ago, our own Ann Perry caught up with Matthew Prefontaine. She's out, uh, she's on the scene getting the details of how it all went down in the Prefontaine house that night. Roll tape. This may seem like awkward dead air, but here's what's going on. Right now, Matthew Prefontaine, Shaw's own Matthew Prefontaine, has turned and asked his girlfriend, Amber Peterson to marry him. So we are just awaiting the call. This is like interactive strip down. This is a Shaw TV first, a strip down first, probably a Saskatchewan TV first. So we're just uh, waiting to get the call from Matthew to hear whether it went good or bad, but this is the fun of TV. Hey! Maddie P? She said yes! taking a break out of our regular program today to talk about a special moment that happened over the weekend for which the whole Shaw team was involved. Of course, it was especially uh, important for Matthew Prefontaine, one of our Shaw TV reporters. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Well, thanks a lot, Anne. So on, on the weekend, uh, you know, there was a lot of hype for us because we had this special show running on Sunday night, and it was a show where you incorporated a proposal, a marriage proposal, to your girlfriend, Amber Peterson. How did it go on the other side of the camera? Um, well, first off, I guess the big news is she said yes. Right so, on. Uh, that's always a good start. That's um, a great start. Uh, uh, general euphoria, I guess I would say. It was, uh, for her, there was, uh, a, there was a lot of waterworks and then some tears were shed uh, of joy, of course. Yeah. And uh, once we got past that, then she kind of wanted to know the whole backstory, right? Because this is something I've been planning for uh, months and months. So uh, as do we, as do we. <laughs> so we got into those fun little details or whatever, and uh, of course I didn't do it alone. There's uh, a lot of people to thank. A lot of times you say too many people to thank, but I'm going to try and do it here because I want to make sure I hit on everyone. Because cool. I'm, we're both very grateful for uh, this opportunity. So uh, of course, uh, Amy host and uh, strip down producer Curtis Anderson is a huge part of this. Uh, Jay Newfeld, Salicardo. And then on the entertainment side, we had uh, Megan Kent, who was the lead dancer. Uh, she was Beyonce, I guess, uh, as it were, in the performance. And uh, her two co-dancers, Monica and Lindsay. And then, of course, Mike and Ali and friends, which were Amanda and Devin. And a uh, huge thank you to everyone. And, of course, all the volunteers on Strip Down to make it happen. It was, uh, I, I can't say enough, it was totally awesome. Very cool. So, of course, um, if you didn't catch the episode, this group had performed a set on Strip Down, and then at the very end, they did an acoustic version of Single Ladies, which is, Amber, you're now fiancé. It, it was her song. Right. Explain that to us. Okay, well, since that song came out, I don't know, it's probably been a couple of years now, something like that. Uh, yeah. It's kind of the unofficial anthem of Amber and her friends, and right. uh, they would always bug me and, you know, put a ring on it, and I would get this every Saturday night or whatever <laughs> for uh, months and months. So I wanted to really incorporate that into uh, the proposal. 
And so I approached Megan. I said, you know, do you, own, do you know any? Uh, she's a dancer by uh, by trade. So okay. I said, do you know anyone that could pull this off? And it just so happens that uh, one of her friends, Allie, was uh, wanting to cover Beyonce's song. It wasn't necessarily that one, but uh, she said, sure. And uh, it was a beautiful version, uh, as we saw on Sunday night. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. Six Seventeen Eighth Street East, Saskatoon. On the web at mothersmusic.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two O Four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. Six Six Four Sixty Six Forty. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Bazine. of a secret I know you know it well my brothers Regina's own Dan Bazine, did you have a good time tonight, buddy? I had a fantastic time. Yeah, we're pretty Thank much you. out of time. We're not even going to sit down here. Let's wrap things up. So for all information on you, Facebook, Dan Bazine. Yeah, or MySpace. Yeah. Yeah, MySpace, yeah. 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 If we run this in syndication two years from now, everyone will be like, what? A month? <laughs> What's that? I think I read about that in school. Yeah. Uh, sorry, MySpace. Uh, people come check you out. Mm -hmm. Solo show, this is probably what they're going to get. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, if they come and check out the government, once again, how, is that, how does that differ? Are uh, people going to be upset if they're like, I love this guy, I'm going to go see the government? Uh, I, no? No, it's a, it's a good advancement from, from this, I think. So uh, if you enjoy this, you there's a you'll. good chance you'll, you'll enjoy the government. All so, right. Yeah. Thoughts on the episode? I had a good time. How yeah. about you? I, I had a fantastic time. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you should probably look into the camera and be like, hey, Regina musicians, call this guy. Drive up and do strip down. It's totally worth it, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Do it. Any shout-outs or anything? 
Uh, everyone. There it is. Hi. <laughs> that was all encompassing. Yeah. That's it. That was our show. Thanks for watching. Thanks to tonight's cast and crew. Easy for me to say. Uh, the Strip Down volunteers, of course, Jay and Sal and everyone else here tonight. And, of course, congratulations to Maddie P. and Amber, who are now engaged. Ah, tier. Ultimo Yurimoto and Mother's Music for sponsoring us. And that's about it. Go on uh, Facebook and type in Strip Down. We pop up. You see the logo. Like it. We like when people like it. I like when we like it. A lot of likes. For the last time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Regina, Dan Bizine. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Oh, oh, really? No. Do it. No. Do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wondering where we're going with this. How do other musicians even talk to you? Why are we in black? What kind of show is this? You're totally inspiring. Oh my god, Hotel Key.